Yo, Scoochie, on today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a basic private server system and stuff. Honestly, going off of what I've seen, like with Battlegrounds games and stuff, this is very simple. It's not really a lot of scripting and stuff. Honestly, I'm just, the scripting more so is just to show you how to make um commands and stuff that like the owner can use. And so, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first things first, creating a private ser private server system, like I said, it's not really scripting. It's more just enabling something because you're just using the default Roblox one. And stuff so you would just go into you know studio go into your place you would click home at the top here then you would click game settings you would go down to monetization you of course would want to make sure that private servers are enabled so make sure this is green it'll tell you how many subscriptions which means how many people currently have a private server and stuff right um like own one and stuff and then of course you, you know you would make it so it's either freed or you have to pay to um access or you know purchase a private server and stuff right so once you've done that make sure you save everything and then you're good with um settings from there you would then go over to the server script service insert a server script you could rename the script to um we could just name it command or commands now we'll just do command script so this is just going to handle the commands i'm going to show you guys how like battleground games and stuff have it to where if you own a certain game pass because making private servers in Battlegrounds games is usually free for some of them and stuff. It's just usually you have to have a game pass to be able to um, use the commands. So I'm going to show you guys how to check to see if a player owns that stuff. So yeah. So first things first, we need to see who is the owner of the place. We can do that by saying local owner ID is equal to game dot private server owner ID and stuff. And if you look, it says describes the user ID of the player that owns the private server. Like it's specifically for private servers and stuff, right? So the owner doesn't even have to be in game. You, you can just tell who owns the private server and stuff once the server started. So then you'll say game dot players that player added connect function in parentheses, put PLR, which is for player enter. Then you're going to set up an if statement. So if player dot user ID, because owner ID is pretty much the user ID of the player who owns that server, you're going to say is equal pretty much if or two equal signs. So if it's equal to the owner ID, which means that player is the owner then player dot chatted right whenever they send a message so connect function in parentheses you're going to put message right then enter then i said another if statement you're going to say if string dot find and then you're going to put the message comma and then um you would have like pretty much a whole but you would have if and else if statements and stuff for each command so i'm just going to make one command just to show you guys how it would work this is going to be a basic kill command so I'm going to say in quotation marks, colon, heal, and stuff, right? So pretty much if someone's just trying to heal a player, right, then uh, it would detect this and stuff. Um, Now, you could do semicolon, or it doesn't really matter. It's, up to, it's like it's all up to you. And stuff. Now, if you wanted to check to see if a player on a game pass, like a VIP um, like a VIP game pass or like a private server game pass and stuff for like they have to ha own a game pass to be able to use command you could do this you could also do this you could get the marketplace service so create a variable up here NPS is equal to game get service marketplace marketplace service right and then you would throw on an and right here or actually no you would throw on you would throw it right here actually so if player does are easy would own ID and you would say MPS user owns game pass async you would throw in the player's user id so player dot user id comma then you would put your game pass id here which you can get um i don't think you can get that from yeah i don't believe you can get that from here but i know you can get that like on your games page on the roblox website so yeah you would just pretty much um get the game pass id and then you would put it there and then it would check to see if they own the game pass if they do they would be able to use the commands if not then they wouldn't be able to use the commands and stuff right so yeah but i'm gonna delete that i'm not gonna include that i just want to show you guys how that would work if you wanted to set that up so yeah so if their message you know has colon heal that means they're trying to use the heal command right so we're gonna say enter and then we're going to get the the username of the player that they're trying to um why am i getting it? oh i think it's because it's undeclared username okay yeah, yeah anyway so we're going to create a variable for the player's username this is going to be the not the username of like the player using the command the player like whatever whoever they're trying to use the command on and stuff so we're going to say it's equal to string dot split we're going to split the message so comma then you're going to say colon heal so we're just breaking it up and then you're going to put a space the reason you're putting a space is obviously when someone is typing the command they're going to say colon heal so the the prefix right which is the colon the name of the command then they're going to put a space followed by the player's username right so you also have to take out the space 
in regular brackets too because um it's going to give it's going to return a table so it's going to have the first like the first part is just going to be blank and then the second like the first um value in the table will be blank the second value will actually be like what's left over over in the string then you're going to create a variable for the player's character and stuff again this is the character that you're trying to use the command on not your character not like the character who's using the command so character is equal to game dot or actually we don't even need to do that we just do workspace and you're just going to do find first child username and then you could just say character that humanoid dot health is oh nice well health health is equal to 100 and stuff again basic example i have a ton of videos on how to make different types of commands so you guys can go watch videos like that if you're interested to see how to make other commands let's go ahead and test to make sure this works so let's go ahead and publish as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts and models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description so i'm gonna go here right that place is studio so i'm gonna go to my studio place right so you're not gonna test this regularly obviously that won't work in studio nor will you if you regularly if you try to play a regular game it, it will work you have to go down here click create private server set all that up and stuff it takes like a second then click join and stuff right and then it'll put you in a private server it, like it won't work in regular servers and stuff so if i join the private server boom i'm here right so i'm gonna damage myself right so i'm gonna open up the console fn plus f9 or for some people it might just be f9 i'm gonna switch to the server side and then i'm just gonna damage myself so game dot workspace now it's by g19 dot humanoid uh dot health is less than equal to 50. you'll see i'm damaged then i can type out the command so colon heals spy j19 boom since i'm the owner the command worked if i was not the owner or if i or if i made it so that i had to have a game pass and i didn't have it, it the command would not work so yeah if you enjoyed the video definitely leave like subscribe and thank you guys so much for showing all love and support on the channel I really do appreciate it we're close to 15k and yeah i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching